The truth just came out about what Melania quietly did entire trip and it's incredible. Melania Trump had an agenda of her own and people were wondering what she was up to on her overseas trip with husband President Donald Trump. Now the truth is out and the results are incredible. Her and Donald spent about nine days in Europe and the Middle East. When she wasn't with him, the First Lady was making her own strides. If Melania wasn't busy spending time with Pope Francis in the Vatican, she was dedicating time to visiting local children's hospitals and spending time with patients. Via Daily Mail, the 47-year-old said she was honored and blessed to have been granted an audience with Pope Francis, and she shared stories of her time spent with sick children in various hospitals. She recalled meeting one specific boy at the Vatican's Children's Hospital in Rome on Wednesday. Just hours after leaving, a young boy I spent time with found out he had received a new heart donor. Receiving that news is a moment I will never forget and I wish him a speedy recovery, she said. This presents a human aspect and element that people so badly want their politicians and celebrities to have. You place these people on such a high pedestal that you often forget they're capable of normal everyday humanistic concepts such as simply talking to people and caring about them. She may have had an impact on the children in the hospitals, but they probably had quite an impact on her too. Seeing those children at a time of need may resonate with her for quite a while when she returns to America in her wonderful health care. It might spark ideas for her and Donald to really improve the broken American health care system. Mrs. Trump also recalled drawing pictures with children in Brussels and one child gave her a picture that said, We are all the same. This trip for me has been very special and I will never forget the women and children I met, she told the crowd. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Maybe the child who gave her that picture didn't see the terrorist who blew up an Ariana Grande concert. We're made of the same biological elements, but the thoughts and beliefs in our minds are very different. We are the same shell with a different ghost inside and that is something that can be changed. We can't change who we're born as, such as being a boy slash girl, white slash black etc., but we can change our system of beliefs and how we act as a human. I admire the child's interest in being equals, but once they grow up and realize the darkness in our world, then their views will change. Either that or they'll turn into a liberal and that would be a sad day for the child. The First Lady was widely praised for her well-thought-out wardrobe choices, despite being criticized for stepping out in a colorful floral applique jacket by Dolce & Gabbana that cost $51,000 in Sicily on Friday. The fashion choices of America's First Ladies are a long-standing source of public fascination and Melania certainly got her taste of it from the moment she stepped off Air Force One in Saudi Arabia. Melania dressed conservatively for her arrival in the Middle Eastern nation, wearing a black, long-sleeved, high-necked, Stella McCartney pantsuit that resembled an abaya that Saudi women and female residents wear. Her attire during the two-day visit hued to the protocol for high-level female visitors, modest dress, longer sleeves, higher necklines, pants, and long dresses. In Israel, the Trumps visited the Western Wall, the holiest site where Jews can pray. Donald Trump who became the first U.S. president to visit the wall while in office, wore a yarmulke, a skullcap, which is customary. Melania donned white, a color considered by some Jews to be sacred. On Wednesday, Melania wore a black lace veil to the Vatican to meet Pope Francis. When a Vatican official handed her a rosary, the First Lady immediately gave it to the Pope to bless. She took off the veil when she went to meet patients at the Vatican's pediatric hospital Bambino Gassou. In Brussels, the First Lady opted for a leather skirt suit by a Belgian designer when she visited a children's hospital and met a group of NATO spouses for a museum tour. Her first outing in the Sicilian sunshine was in a colorful floral applique jacket by Italian fashion house Dolce & Gabbana that sells for $51,000. She then traded the statement coat for a shimmery, high-neck silver dress and equally sparkly $945 shoes by Dolce & Gabbana to attend a concert with Trump on Friday night and she thanked the service members for sacrificing on behalf of the U.S. I also want to take a moment to thank you all for the sacrifices you make on behalf of our country, she said. The First Lady said it's because of their selfless commitment and the sacrifices their families make that Americans are able to enjoy many freedoms. To the families who endure time apart or constant time apart, your sacrifices do not go unnoticed. There's something the soldiers aren't used to. They were thanked. Wow, how about that?
Finally someone in the highest place of power in America gives thanks to the military for being of great service to our country and citizens. We don't offer them enough thanks. It's Memorial Day weekend and we need to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to ensure our freedom always remained right where we needed in the heartland of America. Our military personnel all deserve the highest amount of thanks and the Veterans Affairs needs a major overhaul. We send soldiers to the worst parts of the world, then treat them horribly when they come home. When did that ever make sense? If anyone treats our military wrongly, then that person should spend a day in their shoes and see if they last more than a few moments. I bet they can't. President Trump and Melania restore the thankfulness that our military deserves. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.